the M136-84 is a lightweight, self-contained, anti-armor weapon. It consists of a free-flight, fin-stabilized, rocket-type cartridge packed in an expendable one-piece fiberglass wrap tube. The M136-84 is man-portable and fired from the right shoulder only. The launcher is watertight for ease of transportation and storage. Though the M136-84 can be employed in limited visibility, the firer must be able to see and identify the target and estimate the range. Unlike the M72 series law and the M141 BDM, the M136-84 launcher need not be extended before firing. The launcher is 40 inches long and weighs 14.8 pounds. The rocket has a caliber of 84 millimeters with a muzzle velocity of 290 meters per second. It is 18 inches long and weighs 4 pounds. The minimum range of the M136-84 is 30 meters in training and 15 meters in combat. The arming range is 15 meters. It has a maximum effective range of 300 meters and a maximum range of 2,100 meters. The M136-84 is a round of ammunition with an integral rocket-type cartridge. The cartridge consists of a fin assembly with tracer element, a point-initiating, base-detonating piezoelectric fuse, a warhead body with liner, and a precision-shaped explosive charge. The M136-84's warhead has excellent penetration ability and lethal after-armor effects. The extremely destructive 440-gram shape charge explosive penetrates more than 14 inches of armor. The warhead effects are as follows. Upon impact, the nose cone crushes and the impact sensor activates the fuse. The piezoelectric fuse element activates the electronic detonator. The booster then detonates, initiating the main charge. The main charge fires and forces the warhead body liner into a directional gas jet that penetrates armor plate. The after-armor effects include the projectile fragments and incendiary effects producing blinding light and highly effective results. Five M136 AT4s, each wrapped in a plastic barrier bag, are packed together in a wooden container. The containers are too heavy to stack more than four deep on the pallets. M136 AT4 launchers are marked with color-coded bands. A black with yellow band indicates an HE anti-armor round. Early models had a solid black band. A gold or yellow band indicates a field handling trainer. No band indicates an M287 9mm tracer bullet trainer. The function of the M136 AT4 must be discussed along with its firing mechanism and safety features. The firing mechanism is mechanical and consists of a red trigger button, an enclosed firing rod and spring, and three safety devices, transport safety pin, cocking lever, and the forward safety. The weapon cannot be fired until all three safeties have been disengaged. The transport safety pin blocks the firing pin from striking the cartridge percussion cap. To disengage this pin, pull it outward and then release it. When the cocking lever, which is attached to the firing rod, is in a safe position, the firing rod and the trigger cannot touch. To cock the M136 AT4, push the lever forward and rotate it downward and to the right with your right thumb. This causes the hooks on the front of the firing rod to catch and hold the red trigger button. The forward safety is on the front end of the firing mechanism and is connected to a steel rod with a bent end that blocks the firing rod from striking the firing pin. To fire the M136 AT4, hold down the forward safety so the firing rod can strike the percussion cap and ignite the propellant when you push the trigger. The fact that the M136-84's front and rear sights resemble those of the M16 series rifle makes using the M136-84 easier. 
the front sight has a sight blade with a center post and left and right lead posts. A semicircular white line helps you obtain the proper sight picture. To open the front sight cover, press down on it and slide it backward until the sight pops up. The rear sight has a sight blade, range adjustment knob, range scale, 2mm peephole for normal daylight visibility conditions, and 7mm peephole for limited visibility conditions. The range indicator is graduated in 50 meter increments. To open the rear sight cover, press down on it and slide it forward until the sight pops up. The leaf blade that covers the 7mm peephole has its own tiny 2mm peephole. To uncover the 7mm peephole, pull the bottom of the leaf blade out slightly and rotate it right and up. To cover the 7mm peephole, Rotate it back down and ensure the leaf blade is seated. The range indicator scale is indexed from 100 to 500 meters in 50 meter increments. To increase the range setting beyond 200 meters, turn the range adjustment knob clockwise or vice versa. You must remember to reset the range to 200 meters when you close the rear sight. Otherwise, closing the sight cover will break off the rear sight. Prepare the M136 AT4 for firing as follows. Remove the M136 AT4 from its carrying position and cradle it in your left arm. With your right hand, pull and release the transport safety pin. This pin is important. You must reinsert it if you do not fire the launcher. Therefore, unless it is attached to the launcher with a lanyard, you must keep it in a safe place. Unsnap, unfold, and hold the shoulder stop with your right hand. Place the launcher on your right shoulder and stabilize it by grasping the sling near the launcher's muzzle with your left hand. With the M136-84 on your shoulder, Stabilize it with your left hand and open the sights with your right hand. Press down and pull backward on the front sight cover until the front sight pops up. Then press down and forward on the rear sight cover until the rear sight pops up. The rear sight should be no less than 2.5 inches and no more than 3 inches from your eyes. Set the sight for the correct range to the target. Check the back blast area before you cock the launcher. The total back blast area extends 100 meters to the rear of the launcher in a 90 degree fan. The entire back blast area limit must be kept clear of personnel, equipment, and obstructions. This weapon must not be fired from an enclosure or in front of a barrier. After checking the back blast area, unfold the cocking lever with your right hand. Place your thumb under it and with the support of your fingers on the front of the firing mechanism, push it forward, rotate it downward and to the right, and let it slide backward. Pull back on the sling with your left hand to seat the shoulder stop firmly against your shoulder. To avoid a misfire, use the index and middle fingers on your right hand to hold the forward safety down and to the left while you fire. A misfire is a complete failure to fire caused by a procedural or mechanical failure. A misfire is usually caused by one of the following factors. The forward safety is not depressed far enough to disengage the safety. The firing mechanism is faulty. The propelling charge explosive train is faulty. If a misfire occurs in combat, the fire response as follows. If the M136-84 launcher is armed, keep it pointed away from personnel and equipment at all times. Release the forward safety. Remove your right hand from the firing mechanism and cock the weapon again. Try to fire again. If the launcher still does not fire, maintain the same firing position and return the cocking lever to the safe position. Move the launcher from your shoulder, keeping the launcher pointed toward the target. Reinsert the transport safety pin. Break off the sights to identify the misfired launcher. Place the launcher on the ground, point it toward the target, and use another launcher. 
As soon as you can, dispose of the misfired launcher in accordance with unit SOP. If the launcher is prepared to fire, but then is not fired, it must be taken out of operation as follows. Release the forward safety. Push forward and to the left on the cocking lever and let it spring back into the safe position. Move the launcher from your shoulder, ensuring the muzzle is pointed in the direction of fire. With the launcher cradled in your left arm, replace the transport safety pin until it is fully seated in the retainer hole. To avoid breaking off the rear sight, remember to reset the range indicator to the 200 meter setting before closing the rear sight cover. Lay down the sights and close their covers. Snap the shoulder stop into the closed position. Sling the launcher over your right shoulder and move to another location. Because the M136 AT4 has a closed chamber, it produces a slight recoil. When the weapon is fired, pressure from the warhead propellant builds up in the chamber and ruptures the base plate. Once the base plate ruptures, propellant gases exit with tremendous force from the back of the weapon. The resulting backblast can damage equipment or seriously injure personnel who are too close to the rear of the launcher. When operating temperatures fall below freezing, the dimensions of the backblast area and safety zones double. The purpose of shoulder launch munitions is to provide the soldier with a lightweight, disposable, man-portable, self-contained, one-shot system that is highly effective in incapacitating personnel located within protective barriers such as buildings, fighting positions, light armor vehicles, and other field fortifications. The next video in the series will cover marksmanship fundamentals with the M136 AT4. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, you can become a member on Patreon or YouTube or a subscriber on Player. Links to these are in the description below. For more information on historical firearms, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.